Hello people, it's Jenkins Stein and I'm here with another commentary. And as this gameplay is set in like China or some oriental place, I'm going to talk about something you didn't know about me. Well, I am secretly, no, I'm basically a, um, I do karate and uh, I just thought it was fitting to talk about it in this commentary. So yeah, and because I'll be going for another grading soon. And um, the first thing people ask me is, oh what belt are you? And so, yeah, without boasting, I am black belt. First Dan. So, yeah, that's basically the first level of black belt. And so, yeah, oh, look, watch this. Five man predator. Oh! Anyway, never mind. Um, yeah, so I'm black belt, and um, so I've got my belt with. Uh, I know that seems fairly obvious, I've got my belt. But no, I've got a belt with uh, Japanese writing on and gold writing. So that's pretty cool. And in June, I'm going for my second and adult grading in Bournemouth. So that should be good. And hopefully I'll pass that. I need to uh, start training soon more. I go twice a week and, yeah, I've got some of my friends to join. Well, one of them actually, uh, Psychotic Sam. He's going to be joining soon. So, yeah, it's. I, recommend, um, I definitely think it's a good... It keeps you fit, basically. Now, I'm not the lankiest of people, but it doesn't mean I'm not fit in a way, if you know what I mean. And it definitely builds up your physical strength, because, yeah, basically, I uh, I get stronger by doing it. So, it's good, and it's healthy, and it's fun, really, to beat the shit out of people. No, I'm joking. You got, it's basically, like, one, there was this one day when this kid that's got anger management came up to me, and just, like, because I've always been bigger than most people, you get the other people challenging you. And it was like in my middle school, and he jumped. He just jumped on my back, and I said, "I'll get off. I'd get off if I were you." And this was like when I was blue belt or something. And uh, he goes, "No, fight me." And I said, "I'd rather not, because that would result in complete and utter obliteration." <laughs> and it was something along those lines. And because I, because I, karate's like trained me not only to fight people in a way but to kind of control myself because you don't just beat the shit out of people you got to it's not it's not that it's self-defense so yeah that's that's basically it so he jumped on my back so I told him to get off I warned oh look triple kill I warned him to get off he didn't he started hitting me so I threw him over my shoulder and punched him in the stomach meanwhile the head teacher was watching and I had to spend the rest of the day outside the office his office and then when he came to me and said alright you can go and I said why aren't I in trouble you made me stay here the whole time and he goes no it's self defence so ah, screw it I miss food tech it doesn't matter it's like only cooking cookies or something I still got to eat them so yeah that was good so it does con it is really good and I've controlled myself and uh, sometimes I get really pissed off and angry because, well, I'm 16, teenager, and I get angry a lot. And mainly sometimes at my parents. So rather than taking it out on them, I like, we do pad work and stuff like that. So I, it, it's good, definitely. So, yeah, so that is it. And like I said, I'm black belt. And also we had to do, like, a speaking assessment in English. And we had to take stuff in, so I took that black belt in, and they get, you can guess what they asked me. They asked me to do a move and stuff, so <laughs> I pretended this guy was going to knife me, and then, I threw, and then I wrist locked him. And it, talking of wrists, it's really good, because I've got double jointed thumbs and double jointed wrists. If you, uh, Basically, my wrists bend back, literally, all the way back, so I've got, my dad does karate with me. And uh, basically, he can be bending my wrist back all night, and nothing will happen. It doesn't click or anything. It's like completely flexy. So yeah, that's enough about that. I think if you want it to be, and this uh, this gameplay is actually a 49 to 10 or something, and I th I found it a really strong gameplay. Uh, really good start, but towards the end, I start dying a bit more because I, I'm getting a bit bored because I think it's like 10 minutes long this gameplay and we're only halfway through it and I've covered everything I was going to talk about uh, so what well, because I've covered everything I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk about this basically recently I've been uh, doing some sniping on with the MSR 
and I I am going to get some beastie clips. I've already had some like where I'm jumping in midair and get guys. I've had two of those. Uh, I don't know how I didn't kill that guy. I've had two times where I've um, jumped through, got a triple feed and another triple feed. It's on my channel already, this one, where I quick scope a guy, no scope a guy, quick scope a guy, and uh, wall bang. Uh, so. Yeah, so I'm. Um, what do you think if I put it into a montage? Because you know I'm an editor, so maybe I can put it into a cool montage. Because they're all clips that I got when I was like first prestige and leading up to first prestige. So I don't know what I could call it, or like I don't know what I could call it really. So you guys leave a comment below and tell me what you think about that. Because I'm I'm. Yeah, there's no point in letting them go to waste. There's some pretty beastie clips, some of them. So, yeah, and uh, I only use the MSR and Barrett for sniping. I hate the L118A, I think it's called. So I hate using that because I just I just do because I've been doing, like, private match with my cousin and his two friends, one of which is, like, really good at quick scoping. So it's basically just me against him and I use the MSR with variable zoom so that is I've got used to that so much so I'm going to spend my next prestige token on keeping the MSR throughout all procedures because otherwise I basically don't snipe oh yeah also I've got a Barrett uh, uh, four man Barrett feed where I get a collateral and these two guys are just lying down no basically one guy was lying down trying to get me and another guy just starts trolling him and lying down in front of him and then boom, I pop up and get a collateral. And then quick scope a guy and quick scope a guy. So, yeah, I'll put that in the clip and in the montage, and I'll have some cinematics and everything. So, yeah, I'll probably do that, I don't know, February time. Yeah, that's, that's when I'll do it, probably. So, yeah, that's pretty much everything covered in this gameplay, but it's nowhere near finished. So, I'm just going to talk about some random shit now. And so, yeah, basically, thank you for all you beasts at subscribing to me. I think I've got, like, a couple more since my last commentary, but it's still more. And I said I was going to be a lot more active, and you, two commentaries in a week. Whoa, that's a record for me, because normally I say that, and then I'm really busy with something. But, yeah, I uploaded one on Monday or Tuesday, I can't remember. And today's, oh, shit. No, Sunday's the start of a new week. Ah, oh. oh well. It's one week, okay? I don't care. And so, yeah. The th reason why I think I've been putting it off is because I, I've i been playing Modern Warfare 3 a lot less and therefore getting less good uh, quality games. But I started picking it up again. And this is why I'm uploading like four. Because you notice the last two commentaries this one and the last one are both 40 plus with good KDs and I get a, yeah this gameplay is actually pretty epic for me I think it's 49 to 11 using the M4A1 considering that's a bit of a shocking gun with sh a shitty mag size um, not to blame my own trumpet but it is pretty good so yeah I get a reaper at the last second I get a predator right now double spray and so yeah the game's coming to a close. I get a predator kill, I think. I believe I get a kill. Oh, no. I fuck it up. No, I get a double kill. Yeah. And then I get up now in a second knife this guy and get my reaper. And then the game ends. So, yeah. It's been Jenkins Stein. And we'll have a look at the scoreboard in a minute. And I hope you enjoy my commentary and uh, find a cool comes me. And subscribe if you haven't already. Alright. I'll just wait for the scoreboard to pop up. Yep. And it's 48 to 11, and I'm out.